Skin is the largest organ of the body, and its main function is to protect our internal organs from microbes. Also, it helps regulate body temperature and provides the sensations of touch, heat, and cold. Skin has three layers. The outer one is the epidermis, and since this layer regenerates new skin every 27 days, it is easy to repair any wound. But what happens when a wound penetrates to the second layer, the dermis, which contains blood vessels, various glands, and nerve ending? When that happens, your body starts the four stages of wound healing. Starting with hemostasis, this step is to stop the bleeding. So blood vessels constrict to restrict the blood flow, and blood cells called platelets clump together, forming a blood clot, protecting the wound from any bacteria and preventing further blood loss. A special protein called fibrin acts as a blood glue, and make a net to hold the platelet plug in place. And now you have a scab over your wound. Your skin will turn red, that means the second stage has begun, which is inflammation. Your blood vessels will open again to allow more blood flow, bringing more oxygen, nutrients, and white blood cells, known as macrophages, to clean the wound and keep it from getting infected by any bacteria or germs. They also produce chemicals called growth factors that help repair the injured area. And starting phase 3, the proliferative phase, the wound is now cleaned out, more lead blood cells arrive to the wound site to help build a new tissue. Also, chemical signals instruct cells to create collagen, a protein which acts as a type of scaffolding to rebuild the damaged area, and the dermis contracts to close the wound. At this point, you might see a scar, which starts out red, then fade away with time. Now your wound looks closed and repaired, but it is now doing the fourth phase, modeling, which helps make the new skin stronger and repair it fully. This healing process can take days, months, or even years, depending on how large or deep the wound is and whether the healing process was interrupted or not. Your wound might get infected, that happens when bacteria or germs get into the wound before it fully closes, which might lead to slow healing process, swelling, redness, pain or tenderness. At that point, you have to see a doctor. Ignoring an infected wound, no matter how small it is, can be harmful and cause health issues. Stay safe. Subscribe for more videos, turn on post notification, like the video if you do. Thanks for watching.